Hey there, Randy again. In a prior video, I showed you how we could test out your Mighty's S3 trail camera. Now I'm going to show you how we can review the photos and or videos that were taken during that test. Alrighty here, I've got my camera and I'm going to open it up. Okay, great. Now, if we were just recording, you'll be in the on position here, which is the middle position of the switch. To review the videos and photos that we took, we're going to slide this over to the set position. When we do that, we're going to notice in the middle of the screen it says OK Playback. What that means is press the OK button here to do playback to see all the photos and videos we took. All right, I'm going to click OK. Of course, if you just walk through your house with this camera, it's just going to show all kind of pictures of your ceilings and walls and stuff like that at first, right? So we're going to flip through here. There's the robot I have that's holding the camera that gives you a close look at this right now. And, aha, here we go. I put my camera in front of my dog's bowl for just doing a motion test, right? And we can see that she's enjoying her dinner with her food and a little bit of chicken pot pie. So this is just a photo, right? Now we have a few options here. We have delete, page up, and page down. So if we want to delete a photo, we can see that this says left arrow is to delete. Remember, this is not a touch screen up here. It's giving you guidance on which buttons to press. So I'm going to press the left button here. Would I like to delete the photo? I can click OK to say yes. Or I can press the menu button to go back. A lot of times on this camera, the menu button also serves like a back button. So I'm like, mm, maybe I don't want to delete this one, right? That's fine. Now I'm going to press the down button here. And do you see how the option popped up here for play? The play option is only going to show for a video that was taken. So if I hit the play button, the right arrow, you see how it says press the right arrow to play the video, then it will go ahead and do a playthrough of that video. Now these are 20 second videos. I'm going to show you a few other things while that plays. Now, do you see this here? It says 28 out of 32. Okay, so we have 32 uh, files that we're taking, photos and or videos, right? And we um, are a few photos in here. That's where you can see the 28, right? Now, at the bottom of the screen, also notice a very handy feature of these cameras is that it is recording right on the photo and video. If you have the intro strip option turned on, the date that it was taken, as well as the time that it was taken, which can be very helpful when you're trying to see when the wildlife comes around. It's even doing um, an approximate temperature. All right, so I can continue looking through these different photos here, see some of the videos. Let's see here. Let's play this one real quick. Oh, nothing happening. Nothing's happening because I pressed the OK button. I do find myself doing this sometimes. If you end up pressing the OK button, it's going to take you back to the main button. Remember, the play button is going to be the right arrow. I think we're used to that because of all the TV remote controls that we use. So let's go back in there, right? I'm going to say OK for playback. And then I'm going to go back down. Up oh, here we go. Now remember, the play button is the right arrow. <laughs> I have to tell myself that. Play button is the right arrow, see? All right. All right. Well, it looks like Penny had a good dinner. Anyway. Uh, now, in the future, I'm going to show you how you can do some outside tests so we can actually see what the little critters are doing when you're not around outside. So I'm going to say menu here. And in this case, I'm going to format my SD card to get a blank slate. Uh, now, remember, when you format an SD card, I pressed the menu button twice there to get here to the menu. When you format an SD card, you're really wiping out any photos and videos that are on that SD card, right? So if there's any photos and videos on the SD card, you never want to format it. Um, you'd either want to copy those photos somewhere else or pop in another SD card, right? Anyway, 
since my next test is going to be um, seeing how we can capture some outside wildlife, I am going to go ahead and format this SD card so we can start fresh. So I'm going to go down here in the menu to where it says format SD card. And I'm going to say OK. Now it says OK to format. Yes. All right. Great. Now we are ready to begin more testing and fun with this camera. See you later. I'm gonna turn it off to save some batteries.